Good morning everyone. Uh, this will be a, a very small um, two minute video just to sort of give you an, a round out idea on how to calibrate uh, the team power speed controllers. Now ever since the uh, V1 came out and the XPS series the calibration method has not changed. It's been identical all the way through and the only thing that stuffs a lot of uh, calibrations up is settings on your radio. One in particular is Futaba radios must be set uh, to reverse, otherwise it cannot start, it will not work. Okay, turning on the radio, go to throttle, uh, reverse as you can see on the 4PL, trim is zero, sub trim is zero. EPA on this particular radio, I set to absolute max at 120. I don't go below that, I'll leave it at that. Um, ATL, definitely set it at 100. Don't put it below that or above that, it's gonna stuff it up. Uh, throttle portion number two. Uh, FS is on off, position free. Uh, Expo, definitely zero and zero, and speed at 100, that's how I do it. Now, going back to the screen, you can see the trim. If I press the button right, and yeah, come on. Just the screen there, waiting. I'm doing the voiceover on this one because the volume, uh, sorry, the uh, voiceover on the original video was pretty crappy. Uh, you can see the trim for the throttle is zero and that's how it's gotta be from the start, okay? <clears throat> Alrighty, this will be now with the radio on. Okay, go to the button, press it until it's solid blue. Just hold it down, it takes about four to five seconds. Solid blue. Once you see solid blue, pull the trigger, it'll flash until it goes solid blue, and that means forward set. Forward is set, go to full brakes. Flashing, flashing, solid red, full brakes, let it go. Both lights flash, solid, let go, don't touch the trigger, turn it off. That was neutral, by the way. <clears throat> and turn it on, just make sure. Blinky and blinky set, that means it's ready to go. Throttle up, throttle down, throttle up, throttle down. Perfect, not a problem. I'll do it one more time so you can see the trigger movement as I uh, when I actually do the calibration. And this is an old 4PL and it's been working on this and all the R-Spare controllers really, really well. No issue at all. So I'll put my finger in there, that's a little bit better. Here we go, now watch carefully. Very self-explanatory this, just by the lights. Trigger, blinky, solid, coming up, full set, brake, blinking red, solid red, let go, neutral, don't touch, set, turn it off, turn it on again. Turning on is literally just touch the button. And that's working. You can't hear the motor, but uh, I've had to do a voiceover because the original um, uh, voice on the uh, video was pretty stuffed. You couldn't hear much. I don't know why. That's just what sometimes cameras do. Alrighty. Uh, this next part of it I'll show you is a mistake that's made by a couple of guys that I know that do run Nitro and they've forgotten to change one particular parameter. Create a new model for the speedy go into uh, i think it's in it's in throttle down the bottom of the page uh, scroll down scroll down scroll down there we go throttle mode this has to be for the speed controller set at f5 and b5 which is 50 50 for 50 percent trigger movement uh, for the throttle and 50% for the brake. Do not set it or take it off F7 B3. That's only for nitro. Electric should always be F5 B5. And that goes for just about any radio. It doesn't matter what it is. The other part as well is one uh, point is that all Futaba radios you have to set it at reverse. Not normal throttle position but reverse. Okay. Sanwa, just turn it on, use it. Noble, turn it on, use it, and so forth. But Futaba, definitely, 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 you've got to change it to reverse throttle. Okay, take care, guys. Have a good day.